What's going on? Little Dap, it's Jared Monks, former pro and founder of OnlineSoccerAcademy.com. You are watching shortened interview highlights with Steve Roberts on my Jared Monks Soccer podcast. Steve is the creator of the very popular YouTube channel, STR Skill School. To listen to the full interview, check out OnlineSoccerAcademy.com or download and listen to the podcast in iTunes by searching Jared Monts Soccer Podcast. Enjoy. What, uh, what's your most popular YouTube video and which one is your personal favorite? Um, cur currently, there's a, there's a video um, which, is the, which seems to be the most popular or growing now is, is like a Zidane skill. Zidane was, Zidane was a great player for France, you know. He'll be remembered to some people for that headbutt in the final, you know, but to me he was one of the greatest you know, greatest players of all time. You know, the, the way he can manipulate the ball with the sole of his foot was absolutely uh, outstanding. And in front of goal, he could kind of shoot and sort of drag the ball across to his other foot. So, you know, when, once he attempted to shoot, he put his foot on, players would dive in front of him and he would just go the other way and score. Now, it's, it, it's not one of the best, but it seems to be popular. I don't know whether it's because of the name of the video or not, but... It's a it's a nice video and it's starting to get a lot of views. Um, more recently, I've also got a video. Um, there's a popcorn video that's like we pop the ball up. That's got about six hundred thousand views on it. Um, there's another one, uh, which is also my favourite trick. That that's growing now. About I think it's a, sort of in in its hundred thousands yeah. of views. I, I can't I can't remember off the top of my head, but it's the one where I've. If you have a look, it's called the advanced skill, and I flick, I flick the ball up, and I catch it between my heel and my butt, and then I flick, and then from there I flick it over my head. It was one of the early videos, like check it out. But that's that's got to be my favourite skill. Nice. Definitely. Well, in America, there's always this debate and uh, talks about uh, pay for play model that we have over here, uh, meaning, you know, youth clubs, everybody's paying to play soccer at the youth level in America. Uh, and and they say the rest of the world doesn't charge to play the game. So what's it like in the UK? And are all youth players playing for free? No, they, there are costs to it um, because the facilities have to be paid for. I mean, to be honest, I think I think in local areas the facilities seem to be better in in the states than what they are in England. Like um, the money the money hasn't been put into into football in this area. So. Um, there's a lot of people that play because it's our first sport in a way, but mm -hmm. that means we're all fighting for the same turf basically. And, and, you know, with the three G surfaces, the, the, the grounds, we haven't got many of them around, you know, we've got really old fashioned AstroTurf, you know, with, mm -hmm. it's like sandpaper, like <laughs> running on that. But, um, there's a couple of them about, and the grass pitches, you can only use them certain times of the year, but, you have to. I mean, you have to charge if you're hiring a facility out, yeah. and and that's just a normal thing. I mean, a lot of kids just go out and play because that's what we do. You know, if you got a ball, you can go on the local field. But if you want a coaching session, you know, with me, you know, I do. You know, I do charge for those sessions. But people are willing to pay it, and mm -hmm. and they're willing to pay for quality as well. You know, and 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 they appreciate that. Um, with some clubs, you do get volunteer. You know, volunteers running. You know teams, you know, and and there's a lot of teams that yeah. that that play out here. But um, when it comes to things like additional training in the evenings or or weekends or let's say um, in the in the half terms, they definitely pay for the half term courses because in a way it's like childcare. Like so, you know, some kids are there because it is a babysitting service, mm -hmm. but then some, but then some kids. Are there because they're serious football players, and, and that's what's nice. So I'm I'm quite adaptable as a coach, so I can teach like all all age and ability ranges, yeah. which is nice. So typically, like with youth soccer in the states, um, an American 14 year old player is considered usually fast, athletic, whereas an English 14 year old player is usually you know, a great technique, smart on the ball. How would you compare youth development in the states to development in England, and what are y'all doing different over there? Um. Things are things are changing here. We've, you know, we've been um, sort of we've been really disappointed with our national team. Like, if you you know if you read the news, like the our pay our national papers are pretty critical and pretty harsh on, 
you know, our you know our national team. But um, you know, the thing the thing was, as I said years ago, it was all about the power. You know, people with you know power and uh, athleticism. You know, and and now it now it is evolving into more technique based. You know, um, players. You know, and um, and what I've noticed is that a lot of the a lot of the good players with good qualities have actually been coached out of the things they were good at. And it's a, it's a bit of a sad affair, really. Like, some good players that I've seen have been told to play in a different way, and the players have become what I call robotic. So, you know, they're passing for the sake of passing, not for being imaginative. And um, and because there's so many footballers in England, you know, the, 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 pool, the, the pool is, you know, greater. And if the wrong combinations are made, then, or oh, there's too many individuals, the team doesn't click. What I've noticed about America and what I love about the USA team is that that you gel well as a team. You know that you've got the same ethos, the same attitude, and say so, you know you're not. There's no arrogance. Doesn't seem to be any arrogance there, and 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 you pull together and don't give up until the last minute. And you know you've got like Donovan, you know, banging goals in at the end of games because because they haven't they haven't given up like the last World Cup. You know, England. You know, England sort of sit, don't seem to be able to play. To, the players that they've got don't seem to be able to play together. Um, but things are changing now. Like with the youth system, you know, it is now more technique based. It's skill based, and hopefully soon. We, and we are starting to see you know better results now with with the younger players. Your YouTube partner. You joined YouTube in uh, August two thousand nine, and you mentioned that video about the YouTube partner interview you did. Well, uh, well, I. Well, I actually, sorry, I, I actually joined the partnership program. I think it was July last year. Um, I joined YouTube. I joined YouTube at two thousand and nine. Yeah. yeah. Didn't really make a video until February two thousand and ten. So uh, it was a long wait actually oh, okay. before a lot of videos, and and then they started getting popular. And if you do get noticed, you might be able. To, you know, they might ask you to join individual partnership. Right. So, so what I'm what I'm trying to say here, Steve, is you you've been all right. So you've been you joined in 2009. You started doing videos in 2010, uh, yeah. a little over a year now, a year and a half. Uh, you had that YouTube partnership interview video you did recently. Yeah. Um, you talked about how much YouTube has opened so many doors for you. So, what's next for you, and what doors will you be going through soon? Um, yeah, I mean, I mean, the late. I mean, one thing I love to do is I'd love to be able to come out to see you guys. I'd love to be able to come out to the states and actually coach some of the people that watch watch the video. So, you know, a long term goal would be able to maybe tour, do like a week, sort of in the states somewhere. You know, I might be able to hook up with yourself and yeah. and, and link up with you. I'm sure. I'm sure you can put me up for the night. I've got a mattress you can sleep on. <laughs> But um, yeah, but 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 for me, you know, for me, um, if I can, you know, if I can get out there and, and see different areas of the states, that's great. Um, so that's that's a long term goal. But I'm in the process of making a, an iPhone app at the moment, which is a which is a big, you know, a big deal. Like if I can make something interactive, and people have said that they want they want to be able to have the videos on their like iPods or iPhones or iPads so they don't have to connect to Wi-Fi so they can actually take it to the field and, and practice and um, so my next thing is can I transfer those so you don't have to rely on you know a Wi-Fi signal or a phone signal um, so a sports you know another thing is sports companies have given me you know given me equipment that I can use uh, Mitre International or Mitre fo- you know footballs Soccer balls. Um, they, you know, they've, they've given me kit to wear, and you know, if you look at my videos, I've got, I've got balls in there to use, and and that's helped me locally as well. You know, the kids that I use have got the best equipment that they could ask for. You know, I don't have to. You know, one thing for being a partner, I don't have to pay for anything in terms of football equipment. If I say I'll use a, a ball in a video, you know, and and they're popular, they're happy to give you a football to yeah. to, to, to use. And one one ball led to ten balls. Ten balls led to sixty balls. You know, and it's it's been absolutely crazy. But Mitre are helping me out with the the iPhone app. They've seen they've seen the value in what I'm doing, and and the, the thanks that you know basically thanks for what I've done for them and coverage. They're helping me out with the app, so that's that's a nice touch.